Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back, and thank you guys so much for watching. But I know you guys didn't think we was going to end 2020 without a video. You got to be mistaken. But anyways, here I want to show you guys how I made this gorgeous, gorgeous plug-in tabletop lamp using mostly Dollar Tree items as well as some items from Amazon and anywhere else I could have found in my home. But if you all would like to see how I created, why don't you guys continue to watch All right, Queens and Keys. So starting off with these Dollar Tree paper towel holder. I have used these before where I did another top, a tabletop lamp where I use these same items where I'm using these round foams here came from the Dollar Tree and these zip ties as well came from the Dollar Tree. I think these is all the items that really did came from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm using here some bling script here, which is an old placemat that you can find at home goods right now they selling them around for the holidays some bling some hot glue gun and glue stick i mean to say a pair of scissors and these napkin rings so that's the other items that came from the dollar tree which six come in a pack so what i'm going to do is just flip one of the paper towel holders upside down and i'm going to use the zip ties to actually secure this together don't you make me change my mind if you love me baby don't you switch up the fire Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just want to get... Okay, Queens and Kings, so now that we have that all secured and everything we're gonna apply one of the round style phones to the top of my base for my lamp which is the bottom of the paper tower ring it doesn't matter which end you want to be your top or your bottom it's still going to give you the same effect pretty much now the reason i applied this styrofoam is actually going to give me some support to house my plug-in lamp or the extension card part of it here I'm making a hole to feed the card through and therefore I could be able to have a support area or a system to support the lamp itself for the plug if that makes sense. I'm going to show you guys because it's kind of tricky as I'm trying to explain it because I really don't know the proper name for it. So as you guys can see here this little plug in extension card lamp DIY you want to call it whatever. I got it from Amazon, but I'm using two of Dollar Tree napkin ring holders to support it. So therefore I could be able to put the lamp shade, which you guys seen in the beginning. Okay, Queens of Kings, so with the hole that I made, I'm just gonna feed the extension card or the plug, the light through it. until it actually get to the point where I plate glued the two napkin rings together, as well as place the lamp in it, the light portion. And as you guys can see here, this is going to give me my support system to hold up my lamp shade and give me the lamp effect. So therefore, I don't have to sit on the rim. Now I'm going to use some hot glue to secure all of that together. And I am using Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. Now I'm going to secure the extension card in the middle between the two napkin holders as you guys can see here i'm going to use a zip tie to secure it all together i'm trying to explain this the best as i can so just work with me work with me queens and kings please do because <laughs> i don't got rusted of doing a voiceover but anyways anyways so here is the other style phone we're going to use that later in the video i'll show you guys where i'm going to use it at so now i'm going to take my rhinestone sheet and once again, you can find this rhinestone sheet cheaper now if you just go get a placemat from Home Goods, um, all the sister cousin store, Ross, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. Because right now it's the holiday time where Christmas and happy belated Christmas to you all. I hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas. But anyways, like I was saying, you can find the placemats now and they just $7 compared to you're going to pay $15 to buy a yard from amazon or hobby lobby or something like that hobby lobby having for five dollars so you might as well just get that and just cut it in half or cut it to the script so however you want to but anyways i placed some hot glue 
on on each end i'm just going to wrap that around and that's going to cover up the car so we don't have to see that part there cover up the little ugly duckly as you guys can see in the back of my mind all right so here come for the fun part how we're going to secure those crystals those garland crystals which i did purchase from amazon here i'm using some floor wire now this is the first step that i took initially of trying to do i thought i was gonna like it but i did not like it in the end so i went back and did something else but what i'm doing here is basically feeding the wire through the hole where the jump ring is basically connect the crystals together the garland together and i'm basically just wrapping that around the edge of the uh, rim of the paper towel holder and i'm gonna do that a couple of times and then i'm gonna realize like okay no i'm not liking this at all so i will show you guys that in a moment but it's so easy to work with when it comes down to this wire here as you guys can see i did cut it with a pair of scissors so i'm gonna do that again and then i'm gonna do the same thing i did to the top I mean, same thing to the bottom as I'm doing to the top. Tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. U G L I. That's how you spell goodbye. U G L I. You'll never see me cry. U G L I. That's how you spell it. Bye bye. Okay, so as you queens and kings can see, this is how it's looking so far. I really did like it in the beginning of it. And then I started looking at it and kept doing it over and over. I was like, no, I'm not liking it. So basically, this is what I have came up to do because this is kind of tedious to do it like that. As well as the other step that I'm about to show you all. But first, before I show you guys that, I'm showing you all here where I had just placed the other styrofoam up under the bottom of that gave me some more extra support because as I was putting the crystals on it, it started to weigh down. So therefore, it wasn't sitting as flush as it was in the beginning. So all I'm going to do is basically the same thing I did to the top is just apply some hot glue onto the styrofoam and place that on there and just apply pressure to support it you know to secure it all together now you could place some more hot glue at this point here to to give it some extra hold and support to the bottom of it that is up to you that is up to you but anyway so now this is basically what i decided to do i decided to just stick with the jump rings and basically i did that going all the way around instead of going with the wire i think because of my nails and i just didn't like how it looked it just didn't look right to me it may be easier for you to do if you can't get the jump rings to open because i know they could be a little tricky for other folks or whatever but it's just all about taking your time to open them up because some of them could just be so hard and difficult to open up which i did struggle a couple times doing this but this worked out best for me and by the jump ring stretch so therefore i stretched them out too in some areas so once again i'm gonna do the same thing i did to the top i'm gonna do it to the bottom all right so this is how she looking so far and i am loving it if you queens and kings are too please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already but anyways here i'm just going to take to finish off the styrofoam area i'm going to use some more bling scripts here now these here i did get from hobby lobby but a lot of the stuff i did had in my home already in my craft box and to cover up the styrofoam around the edges i'm just gonna place some bling strips around it from the top as well as to the bottom and using scissors just to cut it it's easy to cut it's not gonna hurt your scissors it's not gonna hurt you you're still gonna have a flawless look all right so here i'm gonna use this enamel um paint that i purchased from walmart i think this is a platinum or some type of silver but i'm gonna cover in the styrofoam that you guys see the white part of it and I'm also going to use glitter. Now, I'm not a big fan of glitter like that. So, this is the reason why I use the paint first. And then I sprinkle glitter just to cover in some of the blemishes. So, it can blend in with blend in with the rhinestone wrap as well. So, I'm, as I'm doing the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing to the top. All right, Queens of Kings. So here she is without the lampshade on it. I just want to show you guys how she looked. 
and as you guys see i do have a real light bulb in there but i am loving the way this turned out my husband ever said are you gonna make another one i was like <laughs> no it's just one just for a desk or whatever so i have put the lampshade on there and we're about to get the magic in a moment now boom voila magic let there be light let there be light the lord said <laughs> and i love it i love it i just have it sitting on top of the counter right now y'all just to style it for the show you guys but i love the way that this turned out but will i make another one no i don't think i will make another one just because those crystals tuck me out it was a little bit too tedious for me but i love the way that this came out oh this is so beautiful what you queens and kings say if you all enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe queens and kings i want to say happy new year happy kwanzaa happy belated christmas happy birthday happy anniversary whatever it is but 2020 was a rough year for us but we still made it through by the grace of god Thank you, Queens and Kings, for supporting me. Thank you guys for sticking around. I love you guys. You guys be blessed and continue to be royal. Bye-bye.